Hey everyone, today we are looking at Wilson. Wilson, Lords of Mayhem, uh, is an action RPG in the CryEngine, and it entered into its early alpha phase, and a lot of people have asked me to take a look at it, and I'm going to. They, but I'm going to point out that a lot of people may be like, what the hell is Wilson? Well, Wilson used to be called Umbra, and they had to change the name due to, you know, legal reasons, because Umbra is a pretty common name. So they're going by Wilson now, and um, if you were wondering, if you're like, what's going to happen with Umbra? It's going to be Wilson, Wilson Lords of Mayhem. So we are going to take a look at it, and keep in mind, it is in extreme alpha phases. Like, like very, very... Um, very very early alpha hits wolf over clocked no wait, wait. <laughs> wilson over clocked over locked god damn it hate typing on my gaming keyboard okay so We'll do Wilson overclocked and play. There, there are obviously going to be character customization features in the future that aren't in there. Now, the biggest thing that annoys me right now is if we go into if if we go into the game settings, um, there is no key rebinding right now. Which means this really cool dodge mechanic they threw in the game, I can't actually can't actually do at this current point in the time. Cause you hit space and you do this like cool little dodge move. And it's like Oh, that's neat, and you have stamina to to watch on there. But I can't do it because I had to put my because I'm left handed, I have to put my um Like normally I do everything on let me grab my other keyboard. Normally, I do everything right here. <laughs> this has me up here, and it's very, very weird. Also, the dodge button is space, but it's not listed on the controls. So really, for a righty, you'd have your left hand on the keyboard, and you'd be like that, and you'd be fine. I have to get everything over here, and that's not going to happen until they put key rebinding in the game. That's how alpha this game is. Also, it's going to be a little on the, little on the jerky side, too. My computer isn't exactly the best, or that might be the game. Um, but yeah, they're going to have camera rotation and zoom, just like Grim Dawn. So, whack. Done. And I think they're going to, I think they're doing kind of like the, it, I think it's going to be a little bit along the lines of something like, a little on the PoE side, maybe you could say, because you acquire so Tome of Unlimited Power. So you go in here, and we have Tome of Unlimited, Unlimited Power. Right click to learn. I guess it's not like PoE. So, um, I picked that. Learn it. Oh yeah, we just I think we just have to sit here and let it learn. Whoop. Okay. So unlimited power. If we go into our ability screen here, um we we will set it we will we'll grab up lightning, set it to one. So the uh the way the skills in this game are gonna work are you have like brutality, lightning, we're gonna get a frost nova in a bit, and the skills are going to be in their own categories. And then if we go to our, our passive tree, we have like protector, rogue, utility, warrior, wizard. There is no class system in the game. Instead, they're dividing everything up based on these like archetypal things. And a lot of these aren't in the game either. And actually, I'm going to point out that I don't even think the stats count yet. So... Yeah, game is still very, 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 um, 
Very, very LP. But yeah, we got our lightning. We got our, uh, our lightning bolts, so. Pretty satisfying bangs and stuff with these. Sucks away our mana because it's a, chan uh, a channeled spell. But as you can see, it, it sort of jumps around, which is pretty neat. So the targeting on this, like, what is it called? Brutal Strike? Like, if we go to a target far away, like, it worked there. Sometimes it just doesn't work, though. Like, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Um... Do not, now, <laughs> a little confusing thing right now as well is, like, you're not on the map. So it's very confusing as to where, well, are you on the map? Oh, no, you are. You're just a black dot on a black map. It's a little annoying. So here is the, uh, the Tome of Frost Nova. So yeah, we go, we go in our inventory. Um, I guess we can drop that. Learn Tome of Frost Nova. So yeah, now we have a frost ability and we're gonna assign it to two. So Frost Nova is, as you'd expect, Frost Nova. And go across this little bridge. <clears throat> There's a lot of potential in this game, and I think once they get it, like, really going, it'll be pretty cool. And get some key rebinding in there. I think the one thing I, I will mention is, I don't know what's going to make this unique compared to other action RPGs at this current point in time. Because, I mean, like, you could say that about Grim Dawn, but Grim Dawn has, like, its own Grim dawn -y feel to it. If you know what I'm saying. It's like... I am really out of mana, and I'm probably gonna die here. I can't walk through the damn enemies, and I don't think I can heal myself, actually. So yeah, um... You are dead. Resurrect here. Was resurrect spelled or reset? Was that resuscitate or resurrect? And I'm out of mana again. So there is a rage system in this game where I think that's what controls this. This guy is literally just running up to me. So, like Grim Dawn, why am I using mana on my main swing? So, like Grim Dawn has like this unique look and feel to it that really makes it. That really makes it something special. I don't even think I'm going to spend points because you can't do anything with them. And then uh, I guess we'll go with magic, with, with mana regen for our, our points here. So here's the first town. And it's like this game is very medieval looking and feeling. Which is fine. But I don't exactly know what's going to differentiate this from other action RPGs that have the medieval look and feel.
Like, the thing about Grim Dawn is it's very... It, it does have, you know, that medieval look and feel, but it's got that Victorian feel as well. Like, it's post-apocalyptic Victoriana. And this just kind of feels a little like, oh, it's a medieval ARPG. And it's got a lot of features in it, but I've seen, like, you've seen them all before. It's got, like, rage. The only the only unique thing is going to be, you know, the ability to evade so far. But I think Victor Ron even had that. So it might be a good cobbling together of various types of um, gaming elements. Also, I am going to point out I don't like this dot just telling you where to go. Like, it, it's literally holding my hand as I walk through the map. The other thing I'm not jazzed on is like, I can't, it's hard for me at least to see these enemies. Cause they're like, like you can see them here, but like these, like if we're fighting a bajillion enemies and they blend in with the background and they're just skeletons, it's gonna get really annoying really quickly. Okay, movement speed. Can't even take it. Guess we'll go to mana regen again. So my my plan for my plan for this game is to actually I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it sporadically. Like every big update, I'll probably go in and, and check it out and see what's happening. Um. But for now, it's like, yeah, it's it's a starter. It's like the start to a game. There's a lot of potential. Is that like the first gold that's dropped? Is that the first item that's dropped? Oh, joy. Okay, so that was, I think, maybe a fir the first health globe that dropped as well. I think they're doing the health globe thing that... That, uh, Diablo 3 does. Don't know about that one. For me, the less, the less your game is like Diablo 3, the better. So let's see. I can't even pick this up, so I need strength then. I can't even wield this.
Okay, so we got a two-hand sword. What was this? Was this, was this a thing that just disappeared on me? Here, hang on a sec. We gotta see if there is a way to make sure... No, there probably isn't. I mean, I could turn this off. It'd be nice if there was a way just to have the nor like the one quest marker. So two-handed sword. It's exactly what we'd expect. <laughs> I'm getting kind of sick of this little helper guy running off and just aggroing everything as well. Yeah, okay, so gonna be gonna be doing little oh the quest markers back here um, <clears throat> Gonna be doing little updates every now and then For this game Resuscitate here Oh hey some armor some actual armor Okay, what are my legs slot? Here? Oh no, we just drag and drop, okay. Um, just drag and drop it anywhere and it put it right there. Go back to Luther, okie dokie. So, return to town. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's gonna cover my my little romp around Wilson. Um, <laughs> talk to the talk to the guy. Don't walk up and start like perving on him. That's gonna cover Wilson for now. Um, yeah, there's a lot of potential here for a pretty fun game, but it's it's an alpha. It really it's alpha version point one. Point one, point eight. So it's got a ways to go, and it'll be pretty interesting to see how it progresses. I'll be recording it every couple weeks, probably, just to keep up on updates, major updates in the game. Um, and I think that's just about gonna cover everything. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.